Hi, all. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So it looks like Trump has pulled away in the elections, the 2024 elections. He's now 64% chance of winning the presidency for a second time, um, which would be incredible uh, for him and maybe incredible for crypto. We will see. I mean, he's already said that he'd fire Gary Gensler sort of first day, whether he does that or not, who knows. But um, let's see. Um, so, yeah, he's 64.1% chance of winning and Kamala Harris is 358 So when I did a video on Polymarket a couple of months ago, it was 47.51. OK, so <laughs> it's massively swung in Trump's favor just in a couple of months. I mean, Kamala Harris's performances basically on the telly has been absolutely terrible i think from what i can gather uh the little that i've seen i haven't really followed it massively to be honest with you <clears throat> but when i've seen a seen some interviews some of the stuff she says is just like just i don't know it's not very um it's not very presidential let's put it like that i guess and also <clears throat> a lot of these uh things coming out with p diddy and and, and all of those kind of things um People are sort of connecting them with Kamala Harris for whatever reason. To be honest with you, they seem to be connected to both, but um, I don't know. Um, I'm not really into American politics that much, but um, I would like Trump to win, which I find myself uh, shocked in saying that because about four years ago, or whenever it was when Trump was uh, president, I just thought the guy was a loon, okay? Um <clears throat> Um. Yeah. So I think my my take on it um has changed over the past few years. I still don't. He's. I mean, at the end of the day, it's pretty poor that these two are your best candidates. <laughs> That's what I would say. Um. I think the other guy, Robert Kennedy, sounds sounds better than the. I don't understand why Trump is ahead of say someone like Robert Kennedy sounds a bit better than Trump. But anyway, um. It looks like Trump is, unless he gets, unless something happens to him, which could happen, um, then you can't see uh, Trump not <clears throat> winning this because the, the the point about this poly market is that people are putting the money where the mouth is. And that's more important. I think I said this a couple of months ago. That's more important than polls okay the polling stations where so not polling stations uh where they do these random polls you know they get these companies gallup polls in the uk i don't know what they're called in america but i guess they have these similar things where they <clears throat> just take a thousand people or ten thousand people or, or whatever it is you know a sample size and then um because you can't trust them because they could just be taking where do they get those thousand people from or ten thousand people from you know it could easily be, you know, a certain age group which are going to vote for Kamala Harris. You know, if you want to, if you want to swing the vote one way or the other with, with a thousand or ten thousand votes, then you can do that. Uh, so I don't know exactly how th those are created, but here people are putting the money where their mouth is, and I think that's that's a bigger, uh, a more important forecast, a more believable forecast number than, say, a poll of a 1,000 or 10,000 people, uh, supposedly random people. So we shall see. We shall see. Let me know in the comments what you think.